the latest on July 11th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The only system that's active around the world right now is potential tropical cyclone 2L in the Gulf of Mexico. Obviously a well-known story by now. We're up to 32 storms around the world so far on this July 11th. Uh, so, day 41 of the Atlantic hurricane season and you can see the 2L is out over the Gulf of Mexico and we all know what's expected of that but we'll let you know just in case you weren't aware shortly. Day 58 in the Eastern Pacific right now where no systems are active but an area of interest could develop in the next five days, small chance. No systems active in the Western Pacific or the North Indian Ocean either. The Southern Hemisphere is equally quiet with no storms or any areas of interest. The top story is potential tropical cyclone 2L. Hurricane watches are in effect for large parts of Louisiana. 35 miles per hour and 1010 millibars according to our estimates right now. Uh, the current location is 183 miles from Biloxi, Mississippi, 27.8 north, 88.2 degrees west. Models are spread both in track and intensity, so take this with a bit of a pinch of salt because almost anything could happen over the next few days. We'll be running extensive coverage on the system as it makes landfall in Louisiana. We're currently predicting a minimal Category 1 hurricane. It could be higher than that. Uh, and then moving inland, weakening rather quickly. Wind shear graphics right now show the system developing there on the visible imagery. Uh, wind shear amounts are below 10 knots. Uh, higher amounts further east you can see there. Uh, but over the where we expect the center of this system will develop, it's looking pretty good right now. So intensification would appear to be on the cards and it has been increasing in wind speed slightly throughout today. North Atlantic wide shot looks like this, so uh, you can see quite clearly 2L dominating now the Gulf of Mexico, the whole northern part of it. Uh, out in the deep tropics you can see a tropical wave down there not far off the coast of Africa which is actually generating a little bit of spin there, uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to develop into anything. A close up there of the Gulf of Mexico and you can see that system there developing, starting to look meaner uh, as we continue to go along. The Eastern Pacific is very dead right now. Um, there is barely a noise emanating from the particular ocean. Uh, the remnants of Cosme are well gone there. You can just about make out what's left of Barbara still in the Central Pacific there. One or two little shoots of convection blowing up from it. Um, heading towards the International Dateline. And in the Western Pacific, really nothing to speak of here either. Uh, any tropical waves down there are really looking pretty poor. Um, one there in the Philippine Sea as well. It's just no rotation, nothing about it at all. It's just a few thunderstorms that have organized together. Uh, and a few thunderstorms occurring over parts of the Philippines and southern China. The Australian and South Pacific region looks like this. You can see quite a bit of uh, convection blowing up over Vanuatu. Uh, sorry, not Vanuatu, the Solomon Islands right now. Vanuatu itself looking pretty quiet. The Indian Ocean, you can see there a little flow up or two occurring over India, monsoonal in nature, I presume. Uh, very little going on in terms of potential tropical cyclone activity. Sea surface temperatures look like this around the globe right now. The eastern part of the eastern Pacific still very warm, but look at the Gulf of Mexico, way above 30 degrees Celsius south of Louisiana near that potential landfall zone uh, for potential tropical cyclone 2L. So that is certainly going to be something that really goes in its favor. Um, further towards the east in the Indian Ocean, you can see there warm waters generally. They have simmered down a little bit in the Bay of Bengal, but still generally 28 degrees plus. The Philippine Sea, very warm still, 30 degrees plus, possibly nearing 32, not far from the Mariana Islands. So we're looking at the uh, floater of tropical cyclone, potential tropical cyclone 2L. Um, curious that the National Hurricane Center haven't upgraded it to a tropical depression yet. It can't be too far away. Potential circulation there, um, but still I'm not fully sold on that. And clearly the National Hurricane Center aren't either. It's the only thing they're waiting for by now, I should think. So Barry is the next name in the Atlantic this year and it looks like it might be about to form. The next name in the Eastern Pacific is Delilah. In the Central Pacific we're waiting on Akoni to form. 
In the western Pacific, Danas is the next name on the naming list, and in the North Indian Ocean, it's Hika. Force 13 is running live updates on 2L. The next one will be just after this Tropical Weather Bulletin at uh, 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time on July 10th. We'll have regular updates throughout the 11th and onwards as well. You can find Force 13's outlets, Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text. And if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can do so. We'll have another update on the Tropical Weather Bulletin scene tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>